Hello DJ, I hope you're doing well. My name is Kay Sam and thank you so much for coming to my channel. It's been quite a while again without me coming over here, but of course I'm here to give you some more tips. In today's video, I am going to give you about 5 settings that I really think you should be employing in your mixes in Virtual DJ 2024 and beyond. And of course, this is going to make sure you enjoy your workflow. Now, this could be something that you have already seen before, but if you haven't yet seen any of them, I'm sure this video is going to be exactly for you. So please stay tuned, don't skip the video, subscribe to my channel, click that small bell and get ready to watch. Let's start it. Now, the first setting that I want to introduce you to is what is called exclusive audio access. If you haven't yet heard it before, it is something that allows Virtual DJ to take full control of all the sounds in your computer. By the time Virtual DJ is open, maybe let's say you are connected to a sound card, any other source in your computer will not be heard outside. And of course, in case any other sound jumps from maybe the Windows Media Player, it won't interrupt your mixes in any way, so you will only focus on Virtual DJ. So how to activate this, you really come to settings. We are going to be under options here, of course, right here. So I think to make it easy, let's just search for it, what is called exclusive audio access. Let, let me just type in access and then it's going to come here, the first one. So right now it is checked to know that means Virtual DJ is going to allow all other sounds as well to play. So if we check it to yes, we are only going to play from Virtual DJ at this point. I'm going to sample this. I'm going to play a track in Virtual DJ and then I go to play something maybe on the media player. It won't actually even accept to play. This is what I mean. I think let me just turn it off first and then try it without the access. And then after I will turn it to yes and then sample what I mean right here. Let's look at it. Virtual DJ is playing well. There's no problem. Right now I'm connected to a, a V8 sound card. So let me just go into my folder, any of my sounds and then play here. Yeah. So right now this one is also playing and we were able to hear the sound. Now let's go back to Virtual DJ and then enable our exclusive audio access. And then we see if we take it back to yes, of course Virtual DJ will surely play. There's no problem with it. But we will not be able to play any other sound using any other software inside our computer. It says this. It's not just any other error. Actually, let me just go back to this same tune that I played last time. And Virtual DJ is taking over everything. So in case any... Like mistakenly you play a sound here, your crowd won't be able to listen to anything. That is the number one setting that you need to have running right now in case you really like it. Another one, the second setting today that I'm going to talk about is something that is really, really ignored by many DJs. It is about cue display, right? Uh, hot cues, already you can see right here, it is counting bits, right? Because I have chosen to display bits on my hot cues. So let's come to what is called cue display. Let's just type in here cue and then display, something like that. That was too much, right? I actually typed cues. It should be cue display. So cue display here, you have this drop down arrow which is showing you some things. Yeah, so you, you can maybe choose to show numbers. You can choose to show the name of the hot cue, like Q1, Q2, or whatever you've named it. Or it's going to be Q1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like here, like like you can see it right here, okay? Uh, sometimes you really need to change it to beat or distance because you have to know that in case you are like a, a remix DJ, I should say that, and you, you are dealing with samples and here you're on four decks, you're trying to count beats, like let's say four beats and then you drop in a sample or, some, or something like that, then you definitely want to use this to show you how far or how many beats the hot cues have so far played. So I'm going to set hot cues here. We already have hot Q1. Uh, somewhere here. Let me just do it. For example, hot Q2. I set it right here. And then 3 and then 4. Just random cues, right? So you can see, if we go back to Q1, it's at 0 bits yet. It has played at 0 bits. This is at 33 bits. This is at, this, the third one is at 65 bits and so on and so forth. So when you start playing your song, these hot cues are going to start counting the bits for you. So you know where and when to drop in the next thing. Let's do it. I hope it's a very fun thing. You're going to take time and then explore it to you. Thank you so much for watching up to this time. 
please if you already like it give it a thumbs up and let's continue to the third one the third one here is uh, what is called auto disk marker right automatic disk marker that's what i like calling it now if you are scratch dj as well this is a marker right here so you don't have to always struggle maybe like you're using a, a controller that doesn't have markers on the jog wheel right and it's not a, a motorized wheel so you need to use this one here inside virtual dj to to, to always come back to zero when you're at a queue so that you can scratch again from zero right i hope you understand what i mean if you're a scratch dj so what i mean here is that when you play your song and then let's say the marker is right here at any point if you click on a, a queue it will always reset to zero or let's say even if it was hot queue two you want to scratch at two still it will come at zero it will come back to zero no matter where the song is no matter the position of the song it will make it very easy for you to scratch I've explained it a lot, so let's just go and turn it on right away under options still. You just have to say auto disk. Oh my typing, auto disk, right? Auto disk marker, just check it to yes. I already have it in. And if it wasn't there, you'll see the difference as well. I can play this song. And then if I queue, if I tap on the queue, it remains wherever it is. I always prefer it the other side, so I'm going to turn it back to yes after this video. Setting number four that you really, really want is what is called crash guard. Now, sometimes your virtual DJ is having issues. Maybe it is trying to freeze and stuff like that. It is crashing. Let me just say that, right? A lot of your CPU has been used and virtual DJ is trying to be sluggish. This setting is going to monitor your activity in virtual DJ and it is going to force virtual DJ to restart without interrupting your music. It's unbelievable. This is something that you really need in your mixes not to let the crowd shout at you so you have to just activate it by going to options still just look for crash guard right it guards you against crashing i already have it to yes sometimes you already have it by default but you need to check it again otherwise yeah i hope you love it and then the last one right here is what is called hide song info now if you are selfish dj like me or I, i'm joking anyway like sometimes you don't want the people behind you to see the title of the song that you're mixing i believe this one is a common one that everybody knows you don't want them to see whatever song you're playing you don't want them to see the title and the artist and whatever it is you have to hide the song information so that is quite simple once again you come to options it's a setting right so we're going to type in hide simple hide song info is here right now it is checked to no so you can see the song name and then if you check it to yes the song names indicate here like hidden so that people don't know whatever song you are playing and you are safe with your, your 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 mixes right sometimes you want to be unique in a way and that is it i really hope this one was a quick one for you i hope you like it please leave a thumbs up subscribe to my channel i'm back to give you content if you haven't yet subscribed before please do that turn on the notification bell because i will have this content coming share it with your friends leave a comment down below and i will see you in the next video thanks